Hi everybody, it's Kaylee Ann. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with a very fun, yet different, yet a little more casual little video than normal. So I want to give you a tour, so to speak, of my fall wax collection. And um, this was too much for me to move from the room it's in to where I normally film videos. So I just figured I would stay in this room and I'd go ahead and show you guys in here. So I'm going to just go ahead and go through. I really, I thought about showing you guys my entire wax collection as in just like showing you it, like not showing you everything, but just showing you an overview. But I thought I'm just going to start with my fall wax collection. Um, in like November or so, I'll do my Christmas wax collection. And then maybe in the springtime, um, I'll come back and do just a full wax collection video. So I do not have my fall wax organized by vendor or anything like that. It's just in these tubs and that's just because of the amount of space I have and it's just easy to grab and go from here. So I wanted to show you guys this before I started to get into it because I think starting in September I'm going to start pulling from this collection. So I'm super excited to go ahead and show you. I think I have everything but I do have such a large wax collection that it's possible that I didn't grab everything. Everything. So. I have my wax, uh, my fall wax stored in just these like Sterilite type containers and I have three of them. So I have this one, which is kind of like my extra container for like Christmas or fall. So basically I'm hoping to empty this container or empty enough to where I have an empty one to use for additional Christmas wax. And then I have this one and then I have one more purple one. Ugh, they're pretty heavy. Okay. So I'm just going to go start going through them. There isn't going to be like a rhyme or reason to this. So I'm going to go through, show you guys what I have, and I hope you enjoy. Um, obviously, I haven't melted any of it, so I don't, you know, I can't give you any reviews, but, and I'm probably not going to sniff everything, everything, but if you've watched any of my videos, you know me, and I love to sniff, so we'll see. <laughs> um, before I get into what is in those tubs, I'm going to go ahead, and I have two loaves down here from L3 I'm going to show you and a puppy pack that I found that I want to put in my fall collection. So I'm going to just start with the puppy pack and we'll go from there. So first from L3, I have Pacific Woods, Frosted Juniper, and Cranberry Woods. I actually have one of these in my Christmas collection as well because it is a little bit more Christmassy, but I figure like late fall or when I'm really in the mood for those cozy fall scents, this will be a good one. Nice, fresh. I have to smell it. This is my favorite. I love anything that has like that juniper or tree scents super good to me this one is pretty cranberry heavy but i like it up next from l3 i have this loaf in basic witch and basic witch is vanilla bean pumpkin spice and pumpkin pecan waffles and this one's super good um see the problem is i haven't smelled a lot of these in a while so i might have to smell them to kind of tell you tell you so yeah this is definitely very pumpkin pecan waffle heavy but I also get that pumpkin spice. This is a really good one. And I definitely think I could see this coming into my September melting basket. I like that a lot. And then my last loaf from L3 is apple, cinnamon, cinnamon, sugar, coffee bean. So to me, this isn't just like strictly, oh yeah, that's really good. This isn't strictly a fall scent. This is just a nice cinnamon coffee scent. But I will say that um, it definitely is warm and cozy and reminds me of fall. So I'm going to start it in the fall, but obviously I will probably use this all year round once I chop it up. Okay, so we're just going to go one step at a time. And I hope you guys don't mind the way I'm doing this. I hope you don't mind that I'm like not going by vendor or scent category or anything like that. It's just that I do not have the space to organize my wax like that necessarily. I do have like my main collection organized by vendor pretty much, but like this I don't have the additional space to do it with everything so first and foremost oh so good I have um this custom from Kay's this is espresso pumpkin pecan waffles and marshmallow fluff she has the best espresso and the best like pumpkin pecan or pumpkin snickerdoodle scent so this one's really good and I'm really excited to get into this one again another one that did, doesn't necessarily have to be fall I have another custom from Kay's. This is apple cider donut, whipped cream, and cinnamon roll. And funnily enough, this is my first custom I ever did with her. So, oh, it's so good. And it only gets better as it sits. Oh, 
I remember when I first smelled it, it was very apple heavy, and now I really get that cinnamon. This one's gonna be delicious. That one's really good. Up next, I have from L3, Hot Apple Pie White Elephant Exchange. Gotta love a White Elephant Exchange blend, and this is so good. I always say about White Elephant Exchange is that you don't really smell it on cold. However, on warm, so like on cold, you really get the other scent. So this one's hot apple pie. So you really get that apple scent, the apple pie scent, but on warm, it mellows it out so much and like almost just smooths it and makes it like sugary and creamy and delicious. So good. Love it, love it, love it. Up next from L3, we have pumpkin pecan waffles, coffee house, and fat bottom girls. And sorry, it's not focusing very well. And it's, this is just in the four pack fluted parts. So super excited about that. Up next we have from, so I think a lot of what's coming up is next, the next few are gonna be L3. So we have Season of the Witch from L3. And um, Season of the Witch is apples and leaves. Love, love, love leaves scents. Oh yeah, that's good. That is like so fall. I think I'm actually gonna start holding some aside as I'm doing this ba um, this basket, as I'm doing this video so that I can put some in my uh, September basket. And I think this is gonna be one of them. Really love that one. So are there any more that I think I also want to start chopping up a loaf in September. Okay, sorry about that. Just thought, just got that idea. I thought, why not pull some as I do this? Okay, up next I have, Hermione from L3 in these two pack buns. This is orange cranberry muffin and a hint of books, whatever books is, I don't know. Um, is this the one, I know, I already said I'm not gonna sniff everything and here I go. Okay, no, I do like this one. There's one, and maybe it's Hufflepuff, that is like super popular and I don't love it, but we'll see. I think it's in, it's in, actually I see it right here. Let me grab it next. Um, because I think I don't love it, but, but let's see. So yes, Hufflepuff from L3, and this was in one of the little owls. And I can't remember what the scent notes of this is. Oh, it's okay. I think it's gotten better as I've sat, or as it sat here. So this is the little owl, super cute. Yeah, I mean, I think as it sat here, it's, it's gotten better. Dare I say it's gotten lighter as it sat here? That's strange. I'll have to melt that one and see. Um, should I pull that one for September so that I can let you guys know? I might, because this one I could easily get like like one open concept melt out of in my four warmers. So I think I'm going to. I'm going to pull that for September. Okay, I don't want to like spoil my September melting basket, but <laughs> all right. So next I have pumpkin crunch cake, salted caramel, and crunch berry crisp. Now this one, and this is also from L3 in the two-pack buns. This is one I do remember that I don't love. So we'll see how this does on warm. I don't think I really like salted caramel, so I think that's kind of what's going on. So, there's that one. Up next, we have, <clears throat> this is another puppy pack from L3, and this is All the Goods, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Zucchini Bread, and Sugar Cookie Dough. This one's really good. Yeah, I definitely prefer Sugar Cookie Dough to Sugar Cookie Royale, so I like that one a lot. Okay. Let me try to get through like most of the L3 I have in this bin. I know I'm not going by vendor, but if I can try, I will. Okay, up next we have pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie royale. So very similar to this one, which I just showed you, which was pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie dough. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie royale. Now let me see which one I like best because I just said, and yeah, I definitely like the one with sugar cookie dough better. Um, it's just, it's not as heavy, so, but those are both of those puppy packs, so that'll be kind of fun to see how those do on warm. Okay, next, do I have any more L3 in this bin? Yes, I have one more L3 in this bin. Um, cotton candy, funnel cake, and caramel apple. This one might be another one I pull for September. I shouldn't be telling you guys this because I am going to fill my September melting basket. Yeah, that's a good September one. Nice transition scent. All right. Um, up next, I've got a couple of rose curls. So I've got oatmeal, eggnog, fluff puffs, and I figure this one will just transition with me to Christmas as well if I don't use it all. This is oatmeal cookies, um, eggnog, monster cookies, and ma uh, 
marshmallow smoothie. So this one's pretty good. I actually think I melted that one before. Up next we have apple cinnamon french toast latte. This is a really good one. I love L3's apple scents are really good. So good. Up next with L3 we have um, Cider Lane and Baked Zucchini Bread. I think I had gotten this one in a D stash, so I probably should melt it sooner rather than later. Just because I know after about a year, they don't always smell as good. Okay, next we have from That Smell Good Shop, we have Coffee Brulee. This is fresh coffee and creme brulee. Don't love caramel and wax, so we'll see how that one does. And then from That Smell Good Shop, I also have Pumpkin Pancakes. This one, yeah, that one's good. I like that a lot. All right. And then we've got four scent shots from Fantasy Wax. So, let's see, how do I wanna, okay. So up first from Fantasy Wax, I have Mina's Blend. This is pear, vanilla, and spice. I don't remember this one. Yeah, this one's not too fall. It's like, I don't know, if I don't get through this in fall, I'll probably just put it back into my um, large collection. Up next, we have from Fantasy Wax again. We have Billy, Billy Butcherson. This is Marshmallow Fireside. I don't... Yeah, it's a little smoky for me, so I'm not gonna go for this right away. We'll see. We'll see how, how I feel about it um, as we go into fall. Up next from Fantasy Wax, we've got another scent shot in Son of a Nutcracker. This is Pine Apples. Sorry, I have a hard time reading these labels. Uh, pine Apple Cinnamon and and oh, sorry. Pineapple, cinnamon, and bobbery? I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that one's really good. Ooh, that is a really nice, like, around Thanksgiving time scent. Okay, I really like that one. Sorry, I couldn't read it, but I really like it. So that is one tub down. Two more to go. Hey, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Not sniffing everything, only some things. All right, up next I have a lot of rose girls, I believe. So, um, do I wanna? Yeah. So up next I've got a lot of rose girls. So, so buckle up. Okay. First we have circus concessions. I've talked about this quite a few times in my hauls. One of my favorites. Love that one. After this we have resting witch face, which is apples, pumpkin, marshmallow, and zucchini bread. I do not remember this one. Hold on. Please hold. Ooh, that one's really good. Mm. I like that a lot. Okay. Up next, we have Carbs with Ghoul Friends. Again, talked about this one a lot. This is delicious. Love this one. Up next, also from Rose Girls, we have Apple Fritter Sugar Spice and Everything Nice. And I did talk about this recently in a haul. Um, and it was one of my favorites from that haul. Again, I love... Rose Girls Apple Scents. Next, we have Pumpkin Spice Latte PSL from Rose Girls. I'm really excited because I'm already drinking Pumpkin Spice Lattes, so this is really exciting for me to have this in wax. Up next, we have Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Another really yummy one. Again, from Rose Girls, are you ready for some football? And this one I can't remember the scent notes of. Definitely apple. It's like an apple pie scent. That one's pretty good, too. That one also reminds me of a nice, cozy, like, if you had, like, if, if we you had, like, snow on Thanksgiving, that's what that would remind me of. Super good. Okay, that was all the Rose Girls for this tub. So, cool. I think I have more Rose Girls in my other tub. So, next we have... Um, L3, this is Area 51. This is par um, Farm Stand Apples, Toffee, and Nilla Wafers. And this is another good transition scent. Um, I really like this. And I've been holding on to it for quite a while for fall. So yum yum. Then from, let's see. Um, K's, 
I have, sorry, I gotta readjust myself here. I'm sitting on the floor, not that comfortable. I have a clam of Cabin in the Woods. This is White Pumpkin, Amber, and Fireside. Sorry, it's not focusing very well. Um, ooh, this one's good. This one's pretty smoky. So if you're not a person who likes smoky scents, might not be for you. I don't love smoky scents, but I think I can handle a clam of it. So probably wouldn't repurchase it, but yeah. Next, we have another clam from Kay's. This is Haunted House Season. This is apple, fallen leaves, pumpkin, pecan, waffle. Well, apple, clove, butter, fallen leaves, pumpkin, pecan, waffle. Ooh, this one's super yummy. So I would say this one, you get a nice apple scent first. And then the fallen leaves. And then the pumpkin, pecan, waffle. Oh, so good. Not too pumpkin, pecan, waffle heavy. Probably will save that for October just because of the name. So, yeah. Okay, and then in this bin, the, the rest of this bin is actually... um the Vintage Chic Scents Fall Sampler that I got. So we have McBoo's Sugar Cookie, and that was a pretty recent video, so I'm not gonna go through these too much. Um, Black Cat Sugar Cookie. We've got Jackie O Lantern. Um, sugar Cookie Dough Great Pumpkin. And these ones I might actually save until next fall because a lot of them, if you remember from my video, were very light, and I'm worried a little bit about performance, so I think I'm just not even going to touch these this fall and hold on to them for till next fall. So we've got this one, which I think this one was actually one of the, the one, it, it's Dracula Zucchini Bread. I think this one did smell pretty strong, but still think I'm just going to wait. We've got lovely Lydia Sugar Cookie Dough. We've got... Um, my Lucky Rat Tail, and, oh, one more L3, I'll do that one at the end. Um, we've got Dead Man's Toe, and we've got Lizzie Sanderson's, uh, Lizzie Sanderson's Sugar Cookie. Sorry, I'm like reaching so far around my iPad to show you guys. Okay, and then I, I did miss one L3 scent. This is Oregon Autumn Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. And this is a bunch. I already have used one. Super good. This is a really good one. I actually also have this in body wash. Oh, I love this one. This is like great for a rainy day. I love, love, love that one. Okay. And that was everything in the second tub. The second tub was definitely not as full as the first tub. So when I go to reorganize, I'll have to see what's going on there. Okay, and then we have one more tub to go. I think I've made great time. This just has a mixture. There's a lot of L3 in here, some Rose Girls. Um, so I actually might have room in my collection to purchase a little bit more. And I think I I did. I just purchased from L3's pre-order. I have a lot of L3 to get through this fall, which is totally fine. I love L3. Okay, so first is these four, four pack fluted tarts, and this is in banana bread, sweet cranberry, and apple, apple cinnamon cereal. Gosh, if I can talk. And this one is very banana heavy. Banana bread. I was going to say, what's that fruit I'm smelling? Definitely the cranberry. So it's good, but it is kind of banana heavy. So that one we have these are all from recent purchases from l3 and i don't think i filmed hauls for this because i got it and i just kind of put it in my collection um we have overlook hotel and this harvest cake and this is cider lane toasted marshmallow and smoky fireside and i love cider lane Ugh. and the smoky fireside is not too much in here for me i really like this so that's a good one <clears throat> another harvest cake is Cabin in the Woods, and l 3 is Cabin in the Woods, is Mallow Fireside, Earl Grey Tea, and Vanilla Buttercream. And I don't know if you guys have seen their harvest cakes, but they look just like this, and there's some different um, shapes on them. So like this one has the little bird, like the crow, and this one smells really good too. So these ones are a little light, but with L3, um, if you give it like two weeks, it's fine. So. The other harvest cake if you guys are interested because I did not film a haul for these so um, the other harvest cake looks like this it's just this pinky purple color with a leaf on it super cute get a lot of melts out of these they're pretty much I would say pretty much like the size of a bitty bitty loaf so love it okay up next 
we have one of my favorite fall scents from L3. This is Halloween. Actually, I don't even know that I classify this too much as fall, but it's Dreamsicle, Fresh Picked Strawberries, and Berry Tea. It's not really a super fall scent, but I love it. And you know I love her Fresh Picked Strawberries, so I'm gonna take this one out too. This one's really cute. I think this is in her Creatures of the Night. Oh yeah, that's a super good one. I wish I would've gotten more of that. Super good. Mm, you really get that berry tea. And then I love her fresh picked strawberries, so can't go wrong there. Oh, so good. Up next, we have from L3 again in this, I'll show you the back. It's a leaf, her leaf shape. This is Asylum, and I've been waiting to get my hands on this because um, one of the other times that she had it, I, it sold out. It was in an RTS. This is Sweater Weather, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Cranberries. She has, um, Jennifer does a really good sweater weather. So, in my opinion, it's really good. So I'm excited about this one. I think it'll be good in the bathroom. Up next, also from L3 in a Skull. And you can't really see much of that from the back. I can take it out and show you guys. We have Garage Door, and this is Sweet Pumpkin, Sugar Milk, and Glazed Donuts. I will go ahead and take out this skull for you. I feel bad because I did not haul any of this, and I'm, like, showing it to you. Mm, that's super good. So there's that one. And, yeah, that Sweet Pumpkin is killer. That's so good. Up next, from L3, in a little, like, jack-o'-lantern shape. Ah, we have um, Butcher Knife, and Butcher Knife is graham crackers, pumpkin, toasted mallow, and leaves. And again, I love anything with leaves in it. This is probably one of, oh, yeah, that's good. I really like that. Oh my gosh. Yum. Okay, and then we have two more from L3, and then two more Rose Girls. So we have Pyramid Head, and this is in another skull. This is Toasty Warm Bonfire, Hay Bells, and Pine Trees. This is another one of my favorite. I haven't tried anything with hay in it before. This is a really nice one. I like this a lot. Okay, and then from L3, we also have this two-pack bunce. And this is in I Put a Smell on You and Leviosa. This is Cinnamon Sugar, not spicy, French Baguettes um, with our top the French baguettes with our top secret bakery bomb blend, apple cider, leaves, and spice. So this is really good. Um, definitely a pretty heavy bakery, I would say. So if you don't like heavy bakery, maybe stay away from that. And then two more. So we have two more from Rose Girls. So we have um, apple puff pumpkin pie. That one's really good. And then we have um, Lambu Leaf. This is... Her blend of Cider Lane, Sweater Weather, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So pretty similar to one of the Sweater Weather scents I have from L3. And this is good. She has a good Sweater Weather as well. Um, yeah, so that's really good. So that is everything in my fall collection that I have right now. And to be honest with you guys, I thought that it was larger than it is. Um, which, I mean, is a good thing that it's not as big as I thought it was. But that only means that I might might be able to sneak another couple purchases in however <clears throat> like I mentioned before I did just order from L3's fall pre-order and I got quite a bit from that so I really went in on the samplers from that so maybe I should hold off until that comes in and I see how I can fit all that but I hope you guys enjoyed and I plan to do this again with my Christmas collection and then like I said in the springtime I will go ahead and try and do my whole entire collection that'll probably be a couple of videos rather than just one um I'm thinking kind of similar to if you guys watch Melt with Matt and Jack she's been doing like where she'll show you all that she has from one vendor and she's doing it like one vendor at a time and I really liked that and that might be a good way to break up my collection as well in the springtime is just go vendor by vendor and show you guys what I have probably minus the fall and Christmas because I will have already showed them but anyways if I get any more fall stuff I will be filming hauls so you'll see that so look out for that l3 pre-order although i don't think that's shipping until october i think they said like october 7th or something so i don't expect that for a while 
Um, but between now and then, you'll be seeing my September melting basket, my October and September, um, like what I warmed slash empties, and then any other hauls that might come in between now and then. I do have a southbound haul I need to film, so you'll see that. And yeah, I have just a few more ideas and before we know it, it'll be Christmas time. I cannot believe it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry about if the sound is a little different. I, like I said, I'm in a different room and also I'm not home by myself like I normally am. So I'm not being as loud. So anyways, I will see you guys in my next video, which will likely be my September melting basket or something like that. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, bye!